Hi, I'm Patricia with Lion Technology. Shipping hazmat can be a complex process, and even small mistakes can lead to expensive fines, rejected shipments, and incidents in transit. If you or your employees prepare hazmat shipments, the U.S. Department of Transportation requires you to complete training that meets specific standards. So, let's talk about which employees need this training and what's required. Put simply, anyone who can affect the safety of the shipping process by making a decision or doing a specific job is a HAZMAT employee and should be trained. This includes employees who classify materials, select packaging, pack shipments, affix marks and labels, load or unload trucks, prepare shipping papers, or perform other regulated jobs. Now let's take a look at the types of training required for your HAZMAT employees. There are three key elements to the DOT's HAZMAT training standard. The first is general awareness training. General awareness training covers the big picture of the shipping process to give employees perspective on how their jobs affect the safety of your hazmat shipments. Next, US DOT requires function-specific training. This means training on how to safely perform specific hazmat jobs and maintain compliance with any regulations that apply. Lastly, all HAZMAT employees must receive security awareness training. Hazardous materials are dangerous by nature, making them easy targets for terrorists. HAZMAT employees must know what to do if they see something suspicious and how to respond to security threats. To help you meet USDOT's training standard, Lion Technologies' major hazmat ground shipping workshops and online courses are designed to cover these three critical elements. There are two other elements to DOT's training standard which are required for some hazmat employees. Safety training is required for employees who handle or may be exposed to hazmat in the workplace. This requirement may be covered by your site's OSHA training program. Security plan training is required for certain personnel at facilities that deal with high consequence shipments. Now that we know what kind of training is required, let's talk about when and how often to train employees. US DOT requires HAZMAT employees to complete training once every three years. Unlike some other industry training rules, this is a hard anniversary date. Also, retraining must cover all of the required elements we just talked about. Finally, DOT can change the HAZMAT shipping rules at any time. When the rules change, each HAZMAT employee must receive update training if the new rules affect the way he or she performs a HAZMAT job. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about training for your HAZMAT employees, please contact us anytime at Lion Technology.